300% tips. <laughs> what is this? I just set the record for the world's biggest tip at the Daytona Grand, courtesy of Alex Bennett. Look at this room right now. Joe? What? Are you going number two? No, I'm going to Oh, yes. Come on. Come on, let's do an episode. We're starting an episode. <laughs> I know, but I'm, I'm going to be violently angry at the room at the pool. Well, why don't you walk us through what we're doing here? We're in Alex's room. I'm putting on foundation. Okay. A light bead. Yep. So I know. Look back at it. Where is Alex? How did she know we had to get in her room? Um, uh, she gave us her key. <laughs> is she by the pool? Yeah, I saw her on the corner of 7th and Daytona Boulevard, I think. She did not look good. Joey, feels the good like the, I feels good to look like the other half. The update is there's Wi-Fi here, so that's the only reason I'm a better now, but I hated that loud place we were in yesterday. This is much more me, though. And a rich lady's bathroom, a rich white lady's bathroom, putting on, trying out all her cosmetics and tender little vittles. What is this, Jim? It's probably from Paris. Do you have a view like this? I feel like what? Do you have a view like this? No, I have a view of like an alleyway. This part, this part versus this hotel is disgusting. The, I've never had worse service here anywhere in my life. I checked in, I didn't have my reservation for like six, for like an hour. I was sitting there, I had to find my reservation. The cleaning lady left me a note on my bed last night because my laptop was on my bed. She's like, I, I couldn't do the bed because there was all, there's stuff on the, your stuff, no, no, your no, thing no, was no. on the bed. There was a dildo on the bed and she no, didn't want to not. touch it. No, there was not. It was a laptop and a pair of bathing suit shorts. And she's, so she left me a note instead of, it's, it's just time she took to fucking find a pen and a paper to write a fucking note, you lazy fucking bitch. To write a note that you couldn't clean my room. Another point, and then I ordered, I ordered Wawa last night because I was getting peckish in my room and they, they wouldn't let the woman up to my room. So I had to go to do a dress and go 25 floors down to get my thing. And I can't wait to write a scathing review about this fucking shithole. Uh, oh my God. Did you order food on her tab? Yeah. Why? Because I'm hungry. You're white trash. All right, welcome to Out and About. Um, we're here living like the other half, believe it or not. It's Alex Bennett's room. Thoughts? The thoughts, this could have been my room, mm -hmm. but they didn't have my reservation when we checked in here. And the lady said, oh, when I, by the time they finally found my reservation, she said, oh, we all ran out of all of our upgrades. So you were going to upgrade your room? No, they were going to give me an upgrade because we were VIP. We're VIP? Yeah, we have, there's, you didn't get your two drink tickets in the in the envelope. There's two no. free drinks that for here. No, I know. So you can spend up to $27 for each drink. Well, I spent, I don't know if you saw the little cold open we did. I spent uh, $44 on a $22 salad. So I'd like to thanks Alex Bennett for that. Um, behind the camera, we have Cody, we have Liam. Now you and Liam had quite the night. Well, yeah. I mean, oh. I, 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 I had to pay the price for it though, quite literally. Which is? I gave him a thousand dollars to blow him. <laughs> Liam, is there any truth to this? There is not truth to this. Yeah, no, it got a little sloppy last it night. Was 11 it was eleven hundred. It was like he negotiated. He negotiated you up, believe it or not. Um, so we're in Daytona. Obviously, NASCAR was awesome. It was a lot of fun. It's my second race. I went to Bristol, Tennessee, um, for a race with Large a year ago, and then two years ago, and now Joey's here for his first Daytona. It's me, Joey, Cody, Liam, Large, Brian. Spider, Alex Bennett, Brian. Oh my God, Brian with a, with an eye. Brian with an eye. We filmed the episode of Working Girls down here where he did stuff with like Paul Swan and all these people. And we got matched up the second I saw this guy who was like playing our boss on the show. I met him at the at the drip the drip uh, Driplo concert. The the Diplo concert. Mm -hmm. The second we met him, I go, this poor poor guy is going to have an issue with old Nana. Now Nana started to salivate when he came in. Okay. Well, he was thick. He was cheeked up. He was under twenty five. <laughs> And he didn't want me, so <laughs> right up my alley. So that's right up your um, alley. Today's show is sponsored by Proper Wild. Oh, good. I love Proper Wild. You put it. I can use one right now. Well, let's. We have a case of them over there. Uh, Proper Wild is a clean all-day energy shot designed to boost your energy, focus, and productivity without the jitters or crash. No preservatives, no artificial sweeteners, no horrible chemicals. Just a natural, clean energy shot with clean ingredients that work. Uh, try their newest flavors. What do you like? We have strawberry, kiwi, I like apple, the and apple one, and I also yeah. like the black. Just black cherry, black raspberry. What's it called? Black, uh, blackberry. No, there's kiwi, strawberry, and lemon lime. There's and black, more. No, there's blackberry too. Blackberry. Those are the new ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. You put it in your booze while we were in the. I'm going to do it as soon as we get out of here. We're trying to get down to the pool, and I'm going to pour. I'm going to order a vodka soda from the bar. Oh God, here we go. And then I'm going to pour a proper wild in there so I can stay hydrated, focused, 
on those hoes. And for, stay vigilant. <laughs> and for 30% off, uh, go to properwild.com slash barstool to try Proper Wild for 30% off. I am hungover. I'm not. You got blacked out yesterday. No, I did not. Yesterday, you were ste- every 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 car we were in. He was taking his foot and, and stepping on the person's foot on the gas. Oh, I did do that. Us. That's right. We were in the golf cart. I, they didn't think it was funny. It took us forever to get back to the fucking thing. Daytona is so big. You can fit every SEC uh, football stadium in the infield. Not at once, but anyone in the infield. That's a true fact. How many minorities can survive at once in there? Um, well, which minorities are we talking about? I don't think anyone besides the alt, uh, alt-right wing cis white men. That's cucks. not a minority. That's a silent majority, dear. Okay. Um, this place is disgusting. You don't like Daytona? No. Um, I, you know what I do like? I do like that, that, that they, committed to, they committed to a look and they're sticking with it. And that look is? You know, Florida. <laughs> but what I do like is what they do, what they do have, they do it right. Well, you feel okay. rich down here. No. You don't feel rich in Daytona? No. Do you? Yes. Of course. Look well, at the, sp- the view we're at. Yeah, because you're buying some, uh, some rich lady's uh, credit card. Alex Bennett? Yeah. She's not a lady. <laughs> Those are not her pronouns. Um, I like what they, how they commit to a thing. Like, the, like chain restaurants, they say, if you want chain restaurants, bitch, we, we'll, we'll show you chain restaurants. They have every chain restaurant in the world, and they look like they're really big and really well run. I'll say that. Um Oh, but there's rust coming up on the beach. I thought it was from an rust, old, old it's just sand. Why is half the sand a hot red? You've never seen multiple colors of sand on a beach? Have you seen multiple colors of race, um, people on the beach? I don't, mm, I don't see color. I think we know that. We're on like, the, for those of you who are listening, we're on the 25th floor of this hotel, the Daytona Grand. Um, I like it a lot. There's really nothing not to like about it. But Joey, I have, you're not going to believe this. Here. Joey's been complaining. You're not going to believe this. The second he second came I, in. No, second, I was, I was greeted oh with, I, don't have your, I was greeted with, I don't have your reservation. I was standing at the desk for 45 minutes. Reservation for what? The press was, the press was starting to show up and they were going to start writing stories about me in the paper. Um, the reservation for what? My hotel room. Oh yeah, but we're here and we're fine and we're grateful for it. Mm-mm. Right? No. The, a little full, bit? No, this is two strikes against Barstool. And what's third, the third strike? I won't travel again. You know what I realized when we were down here? I saw more Let's Go Brandon flags, and then it hit me that the LGB and LGBTQ stands for Let's Go Brandon. Believe it or not. Tran. It says LGBT is Let's Go Brandon Trannies. Let's Go Brandon Trannies. We're getting trannies to like Brandon. You know, back- that's our show's goal to convert you all to evangelicalism. You know, back in my day, blowing a tranny meant car trouble. Okay. Nowadays. Uh, he's used that four times. <laughs> he's wanted it. So, man, has been, man has been using it. You know, the, I think you, the new strategy you have to kind of familiarize yourself with young gentlemen is dad jokes. You've done, yeah, tra- d- you've done a tranny joke. Yep, I you've did. You've done a, a Kenya, Kenya joke. Do a Kenya to Liam right now. Well, he already knows what Kenya means. Do you? No. You don't. You know what it is. No. Well, he's got to answer the question first. Okay. Right. What's the con- What's the country in Africa that starts with a K? Kenya. Can you fit this dick in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> you said it like such a lady too. Kenya, my dear. Um, How many times have you climaxed since we arrived? Uh, three times. I just did right before I got down here. Is that why you're flushed in the face? No, that's because I used one of her dirty brushes in there. You think her brushes are dirty? No, she's just dirty. Can we talk about the cleanliness of this room? I saw some... Did things. a cleaning lady come? Because I got a note left on my door. Yeah, you got a note because you had a dildo on your It bed. was not a dildo. It was a computer and a bathing suit. That well, I'm going to show the thing. That was a dildo. You sent it in the group. This is what he does. He'll send... Now, she acts one way. Let's see. Joey's dildo. Strike two against Why did you bring a dildo to fucking Daytona Beach? Your mom left it in my bag. Okay. You know um, she's passed. The What's your name again? Mr. P79. No. Um, your regular name. Daytona. 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 Bob the drag queen. I'm depressed. Alex Bennett. Okay. that's. I'm going to remove her from the group, please. Uh, I am sorry we didn't get to make your bed today because of the thing on it. Housekeeper, room twenty five eighteen. That was my That's housekeeper. That's a heart flavored dildo. <laughs> Did you put that inside of yourself? It's, you always travel it's with a dildo. Still in me. Well, I have to say, after the surgery, after my bottom surgery, I have to stay dilated. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll close up. Well, that's because you're going to be crowning with all the loads you took. You're going to be giving birth to so a no, baby. So, no, literally, I had a computer and a fucking bathing suit on the bed. And then she said she couldn't make my bed because of that. Move the fucking thing, bitch, and put it on the, on the no, side No, I would not. If, someone, if I was a cleaning lady making fucking $10 an hour in Daytona Beach, and I walked into someone's room, and there was a 
a filthy shit covered dildo on the bed. There wasn't. With goon all over the place. Just loads on the floor. There's probably biscuits on the floor. There's well, probably some just, sort of. No, I haven't got, my room hasn't been serviced since I've been here at all. So then it's just that they do that one day they do come in and they don't even do anything. They just leave a fucking note. They just come in and don't do anything. Nothing at all. Do you have the sign on your door? No, I'm going to write the most scathing review. You can't. We're on the cut com- where you can't write a bad review when it's the company paying for us to be here. Yes, I can. It has nothing to do with the company. It has something to do with this establishment. We don't own this house. This <laughs> is she's a, an establishment This is, this is not a Penn National Gaming Project uh, um, property. <laughs> now, she's a, now she's an establishment queen. She always has been. No, no I'm going to yelp with the best of them. I'll try to, be, I'll try to choose my words. If you write a yelp review, period, you're trash. Well, you're, when you're, in Rome. Bored, you're a bored liberal Karen if you write a, a Yelp review. I'm going to. Did you see the guy's shirt yesterday? It said, I identify as non-binary. No, but I love that. It was beautiful. Well, let me pull that up for you as well. You took a picture? Yeah, of course I took a picture of him. I go, he walks up to me. I go, hell yeah, brother. I identify as non-binary. Oh um, we had a little whoopsie days yesterday. This I man. forgot to take my pill. Yeah, so let's let's run down like what we've been doing since we got here. Friday, I wasn't I wasn't here. Joey and them went to a Diplo concert. Saturday was our day where we filmed Working Girls. Um, on the way to film Working Girls, you had a bit of an issue with the pill. There wasn't an p- issue with it. The issue was I didn't take it. And what's the name of the pill? It's my crazy pill. Well, yeah. the thing is, I was trying to film. I, I was told um, that I have to start tic tacking, so I was making it get ready with me when everyone's waiting in the car for me downstairs no. for forty five minutes. No, 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 no. This is thirty. We're waiting in the car thirty minutes. There's probably eleven people. Joey's not even picking up his phone because I'm doing it. T- I was doing it. Get ready with me. We find out he's going. Now, I use a Chanel foundation on the thing, mm-hmm. and then he gives it to Alex Bennett. Alex Bennett is the one who has to edit your. How did you do that? She knows how to do it really quickly, and she likes doing it. So she has. I bet she does. To do she also gave me a Rolex watch. No, she didn't. I swear to God, prove it. I don't have it yet because she's still wearing it. She's giving it to me at the end of the trip. How much did she? Well, we can. Ju- you know, why don't we do Alex Bennett bag? <laughs> Uh, bag haul. Can you hand me your purse, please, Cody? <laughs> this is the purse. We're gonna put up the photo, of Joey. Um, I already know there's gonna be. I already know there's gonna be a L'Oreal infallible lip gloss in there yeah. and shade hot pink. <laughs> if there's not in there, I, if there's not, if it's not in there, I'm gonna jump out of the cl- closet. I'm, she never leaves the house without it. So we're rocking fake. What is this? It's fake Christian Dior. Yeah, it says Christina Dior. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let you go ahead and do the honors. Now it's a gold chain with a leather, oh my um, God. a leather crop. Is okay, it? there's only one item in here. Can you guess what it is? What is it? One item. One it's item. A, it's a wad of cash. No. It is. Oh, it says tester, not for sale, but it's um, Le Lip Liner it's and Bronzella from Lancome, Paris. Go ahead, do your thing. Pull it around. <laughs> Um, while Joey's applying Alex's lip liner flawlessly, what do you think of my friend Dave, who showed up in the Veteran Lives Matter? Um, he, your boy's gay. He's not gay. <laughs> yes, he is, bitch. He's, he's not. Married, he's married with three kids. He's married to an Asian woman. That's the equivalent of gay. He's Pacific Islander. It doesn't matter. The, I, no. I said this before. Gay men marry Asians. They do not marry no. Pacific Islanders. That's gay the, men that's don't marry brown women. Become gay. The last step of becoming gay is marrying an, it's a subservient Asian woman. She's not subservient and she's not Asian. She she's her Pacific she's his Islander. sugar daddy. You know what it's funny though? The second like any straight guy pushes back with a little bit of gay stuff to Joey, he goes, Oh, they must be gay. He's like the straight he was no, in a I black know. rifle coffee shirt. He's not fucking gay. Well. If I wanted if I wanted to do anything with him, anything What I, would you do to him? I wouldn't do anything with him because I'm married, but I was saying like if I wanted to, there was there was, like, there was nothing that he wouldn't do with me. I just know it. I, I got it like that. You you got it. Now she'll look back at it. He lost his virginity when he was twelve years old. What was his uncle's name? <laughs> it was actually it was actually Uncle Liam, believe it. <laughs> Uncle Liam, believe oh. it or not. And she's here with us today, right behind the camera. Uncle Liam showed him his her for his four-leaf clover, believe it or not. No one believed that he did it, so he took a photo of his 12-year-old dick in a 12-year-old vagina and sent it to CVS on a Kodak and printed it out and it got sent around the school. He got suspended for that. That the, he was an early he was an early adapter and your, of and revenge and your, porn. And your gym teacher asked for doubles. <laughs> Miss Man asked for doubles. Yeah. Miss Man asked for doubles. He was an early adapter of revenge porn. Um <laughs> An early innovator, really, believe it or not. And I believe that girl's actually in jail now. I would say her name, but... Jordan Woodruff is not allowed to be spoken of in this podcast. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> How about that, what Alex was saying about Jordan? Let's well, just say... We all, knew it was, we all knew it was true. Well, let's just say... That Jordan there- Woodruff hasn't taken a shit in three <laughs> weeks, and that's why she has to drink all those coffees to get things moving. She has had... There's trouble in paradise. And not just the digest, digestive tract. 
Are you looking at my legs, my gams? I'm looking at your filthy socks. <laughs> Look at these. Well, that's, you know why? Because this hotel is just fucking disgusting, and the cleaning ladies leave notes instead of doing their fucking jobs. I, that's why there's dirt all over your shoes, because they don't clean the floors here. By the floors here, I, it's like an ice rink in the floors. Well, that's, that's pet dander. <laughs> that's dander, dear. Uh, what'd you think of Daytona when we first went in? Like, this was my first time there. It's fucking I think huge. it's, I mean, I think. No, the, the racetrack. My, oh. Let's, let's, enough of the, the city. I think we get what's going on in the city. Um, there's a pill problem. But what do you think about the actual oh, racetrack? Oh, but there's no here. You can't find a bag of 10 miles either way. You tried? You tried, we and I tried. was with yeah, you. We, <laughs> you know, we, both tried, we both tried to find some. I had a couple cocktails. Next thing you know. Um, I'm at a strip club. Next thing you know, Joey disappears. First of all, he shook me down for money at the bar we were at. Because, I did? Because he needed a cover to get into the strip club that he was going to. I didn't have any cash and on I me. And I took out... I took out money and he, I go, say, say, I need more money, daddy. And he goes, could I have some more money, daddy? Well, I, I, we were all going and to the, the strip thing, club. Shit face drunk. And then he went to the strip club, this place called Molly's. I go, there's no way he actually went there, but we ended up popping in. My buddy put so it on nice. his credit card and his wife saw the, the, uh, strip club cover on his credit card. I buzz into Molly's. I'm looking around. I go, where is Nana? Now it's reminiscent of the Eagle. She had when, three strippers when, around. When, we're, when, we're Nana, holding when Nana court. popped up sucking three cocks at once at the Eagle, I walk in, I look straight in front of me. He's not there to the right. He's not there left. Joey is surrounded by four strippers. What can only be described as a bevy of bodacious babes, uh, bodacious. Chop yes. Up, not chase. babes, not babes. Um, portly. Ladies of the night. Well, we were exchanging beauty tips, believe it or not. And the number one tip you gave them is get a said, pipe. Um, well, they turned the, the the rink, the, the the skating rink where we went. Wait, tell me more about the strip club. What did you think? Why did you go there? Um, because it was across the street and it seemed like a fun time. And everyone thought that it was not a fun. They no, also no, no, don't no. Get everyone, naked no. In My friends thought that there was that, that um the the um strippers would have drugs. That's why I went yes. there. I forgot. You're, they don't get naked in Florida. No, you can't even take your boobs out. Yeah, I was like, and they were on the edge. So you know you go to a strip club and they like they go up on their back and they'll maybe like pull like their pussy out like a little labia. Set. No, these are full back panties. There was none of that. It was like watching fucking nuns dance around. I was more scantily clad than these. Um, <laughs> we can bleep that. Correct. Yeah, I like that. I've been to a strip club in forever. You oh, I go all the time. You were at Rochelle Ryan's. Yeah, I love going to the sixty sixty club. No, it's sixty. Um, Saf Sapphire sixty. Yeah, we love Sapphire. Have you ever been to Sapphire's, Cody? They asked me to host their I Super went, Bowl party. I went one time and uh, with Tommy Smokes. And He's he trying to make his voice deep. No, I, I'm I'm looking down to make oh, sure sorry. it's coming in. Um, I went one time with uh, with Tommy Smokes, what? and he pulled out like a his VIP cock? card. Tommy like, Smokes. <laughs> yes, when we went there. Tommy Smokes is a regular at Sapphires? It yeah. seemed that way. Yes. How was he in the strip club? He's a huge poon hound. <laughs> I bet he's, I bet it's heavy. Tommy Smokes, yeah. Yeah. He's lanky and the schnoz on him. Well, that, unfortunately, that doesn't translate to all lanky people with yes, schnoz on them. Yes, it does. You what? have a dick like a special person. Meaning? Don't. Meaning, it, meaning it's constantly drooling? No, but don't, did, don't. The, is it a myth? It's it, slack jawed and drooling. Did you see all the things I sent you online? Yeah. The person was folded up in the wheelchair. Yeah. You need to chill with that. The, you, that's I'm on like, that TikTok because of you. We are, our TikTok algorithms are so similar. We're in the, ableist TikTok. We're in disabled TikTok now. We were in burn victim TikTok for a while. And now we're in this. So every time there's a hot guy in a wheelchair, Joey sends it to me. And I'm like opening things up. I'm checking my lip liner. Go ahead. Yeah. And I'll open the thing up and it'll be like, you ever see the things where the TikTok, it's like music and they jump. Joey, look, they jump and it's like a... Like yeah, outfit yeah. change, they'll do that, but it's in the wheelchair, and they burp, and they flip around. Um, yeah. So when I got to when I got to the skating rink, I thought um, there's a lot going to be a lot of walking here. It looked very big. Yeah, I liked it though. Oh, it was beautiful. That the park was really nice. When he didn't, Joey didn't take his pill, and like we like joke like, no. oh, he doesn't need his pill. Like, ha ha. ha. It it's been funny. Fun. I can go a day without it. It's funny Unless until like goes wrong. seven hours in we're like, we're sitting there. There was no Wi-Fi. You would have thought that he had fucking stormed the beaches of Normandy the way that there was no Wi-Fi. There was no water. He wouldn't even look people in the eye. You couldn't get him to I speak. told you I would be, I can take, I can, I can miss my pill if nothing goes wrong. But the second something goes wrong, then it's all downhill. I get there. It was uncomfortable. No 
signal. I couldn't even call 911 if I wanted to. I believe you have clips that we can get from you. Yeah, that's what, that was his whole thing where he was trying to justify his behavior because he said, I need to call 911. And I had to. I can't call 911, so everyone should be concerned if I can't call 911. And I couldn't, get my, I couldn't Google what side my contacts went in because there was no Google. Mary Beth Googled it for you. Yeah, but what, it was just like not having that phone that make me spiral. Then... Oh, that's another thing. I'm Here, like playing it. I've learned to like play it cool. Like I can sense a spiral coming like a mile away. And I knew when we got I'm a the content car, creator the look on his face when we got content. in the car, I go, all these motherfuckers are in for it today. I'm a content queen who can't do content. I can't, I can't. So that's like putting a whale outside of their natural habitat. I, had, I need to be able to breathe and soar. Her name is. Um, also, Joey. Can you bleep that? Joey, I'm, I'm not fucking editing this. Thank you, you can bleep whatever. Um, Joey also didn't realize it was going to be loud there. Uh, oh my <laughs> fucking god! Do we have, do we have footage of him at turn one outside holding my ears? I thought he, it was like, it was like, it was. I've never seen anything like it. He was like this, like <laughs> my head was vibrating every time it went around. He's like, can we go? Can we go? That was, I'm not, was you a were lot in of physical pain. For nothing. There was not, there was, we're standing around doing bullshit for nothing. Thank God. <laughs> remember, remember I, got, I got us at that Brett Kersher concert. I was like, we're just like standing, standing behind a wall, like waiting, like waiting for, you know, Trump to finally build it. And like, <laughs> yeah, my buddy Dave went in and blew up Burt Kreischer's toilet too. He marched his, he so I was like, let's go shopping. Let's get out of here. Like, what are we standing on the side of the road for? Like, if we're going to sit in the audience, sit in the audience, we were literally behind a, that behind was a weird. Dumpster. It was like, why are we that? Why were we not? We should be watching the concert or like get like a clip, but we were just like kind of there. The heat is what will get. Oh, I wasn't hot. The heat will get to anyone, but it was starting to wear on you as the day went on. No, the heat didn't bother me. I wasn't it was hot. the sound. When the sound. Out. When I tell you the sound, they don't tell you how big this, how the biggest thing is. And I don't know why these cars are making um, all the joints. You think they're working on these cars 24 hours a day. They can't make one quieter. They make it silent. I also can't wait for uh, Tesla to come in and just make a car that just Ends NASCAR's everything, but it didn't stop there. There was, there was, it was, it was air, land, and sea. There was fucking airplanes, thousands oh, of they God. flying all together like little little hummingbirds in the sky. But it was, it was the whole fucking ground was shaking. And I have a and Dave who was here. The things come over. He starts having flashbacks. Goes, it's a lot different when you're in country. A lot different when you're in country, and they're dropping bombs. So I'm worried about Dave freaking out over here having a flashback. Joey's pacing around with like no Wi-Fi, fucking, like with no Wi-Fi, like he like just witnessed a murder. It was a lot, but then we finally, oh, we saw your friend. My friend, Jen France, she was there. I thought that, um, that was like, she likes to, she likes to hang out with the, with the, with the regulars. When you get so, a certain, there's a certain level of wealth that you get so rich, you want to pretend to be poor. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, you want to feel again. You want to feel regular again. That's what they, I know. Well, but, but they, uh, well, that's why I came on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I need to knock myself back down, believe it or not. Um, what was I going to say? No, Jen was great. He yeah. introduced the guy goes, I go, are you enjoying yourself? I'm Bill. I go, oh, okay. And then I turn around, Joey goes, that guy owns NASCAR. NASCAR. He's driving around in just like a shitty little golf cart with a Corvette thing on the front. Mm -hmm. Wife was gorgeous. She didn't yeah. fuck with me though at all. She didn't look at me. You said like 10 She's times. She's not allowed to talk. She probably thought you were straight. She's. You she, said 10 times. You're like, he's gay. He's gay. Well, I shouldn't have you. honked your tits when I first met her, but everyone makes those mistakes. Yeah. Well, she could probably have a good read on people like you. Which is, what's the read? Speaking of Reed, Shade came first. <laughs> That's my favorite clip ever. Now Shade is the art of the Reed. Um, but the race, okay. I have to say, everyone, the people, the people that NASCAR, work at NASCAR people are, are awesome. lovely, yep. and not just they're not just like corporate cucks. Like they're like they really care about you and they they treat you well. But they're the nicest, funnest people out there. Everyone, um, you're in true for a real treat. We did a working girls episode down here, and Trish and I had a couple jobs, and I think we crushed both. I don't even want to like spoil the. The good one. Just save yourself. Just save well, Let's say this. We'll describe save it in a few words. Save yourselves from elimination. Um, booze. Soft pretzels. Cheryl. A switchblade. Pipe. Screaming, screaming obscenities at a four, at a five-year-old girl. Yeah, I got in trouble for that. You I did? I offered, I didn't know. I she, offered her five-dollar hand jobs. I offered her a drink. A drink. And yeah. I like, she's 12. I was like, I don't know. I didn't oh, she was right well. Day. Yeah. Oh, it's fine then. Yeah, she's fine. She's gonna do. She's gonna drink. I'd rather have her do it in the house. <laughs> yeah, that's what he kept okay. saying to people. We were giving out free drinks. So was, if, if you're gonna drink, sir, I'd rather have you do it in the house. Um, Hello Fresh. Oh, is your think, order at your house? Do you think yet? they deliver to Daytona Beach? I'm sure they do. 
They deliver all. They deliver worldwide. Oh, international, international queens. Um, get HelloFresh and skip the extra trip to the grocery store and long checkout line. Spend more time doing the things you love with delicious, chef crafted uh, recipes delivered straight to your door. HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients and easy to follow recipe cards mean you can get delicious home cooked dinner on the table without all the time consuming meal planning and prepping. I'm, did you want to tell them like what you do for HelloFresh because what you actually use us? Yeah. I love HelloFresh. I do it because I hate carrying things. That's no surprise. I like to, I like to live a lifestyle of luxury, and I feel like I'm a, I'm, I'm like a kept woman because HelloFresh brings me out groceries for me. I don't have to go to the grocery store. I don't have to be seen in public, especially when I have my lip liner on. You missed a big joke right there. What? You should have said, I carried the show. That would have been a good one. I miss carrying things. And you should have said, well, I, I carry this show. Oh. Anyway. Want me to get it in there? No, keep going. You go to the grocery store. You like go to the grocery store. I like store. to be kept to it, so yeah. I feel very luxurious because HelloFresh brings me my ingredients that I need to cook HelloFresh meals at home, and they on the table it's like thirty minutes. But they also do groceries now, so if I don't want to, if I need to get olive oil or I need to get a tub of ice cream or whatever, they can do um, all different staples. Yeah, for your grocery, your pantry, so they can get things for that. But literally, I I don't want to think when I get home. I you know I've, I have a, a teenage boyfriend. I have, you know. <laughs> He's got to get a dinner. He's got to get dinner on the. He's got to get dinner on the table. It's Thirty minutes or less, otherwise yep. he gets he gets he gets, uh, he gets cranky. He gets cranky, and you always make him. You don't feed him dinner until he does his homework, which I oh, think yeah. is a great parenting tip. Yeah, thank you. He had algebra. He, he had algebra homework, mm -hmm. and he, now he had to figure out the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, now Nana and they can't a, use the Casio keyboard typewriters anymore. No, I mean, no, 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 no. He had to use a TI eighty three plus. Now Nana didn't give him the TI eighty three plus. Mm -hmm. I gave him a good old pen and paper and a, and a protractor. He said, "Do the long division, okay, son?" But that's what he was doing. I was making sizzling fajitas in the kitchen 30 minutes or less in an portion ingredients looking over like a proud mom and nothing goes to waste because uh, I don't I can't I can't order for 25 people well I can but those are in charge but also it. sneaky tip if you're a hungry fella get for four people for four people two. and you just eat it for two um, so go to hellofresh.com slash out and about 65 and use code out and about 65 for 65 percent off plus free shipping uh, that's code out and about 65 at hellofresh.com Slash out and about 65. 65% off of I your know. meals. They're like just lot. giving it to you at this point. There's no reason you shouldn't be doing this, girls. What is up with all these birds? Well, there's, you like, know what's there's like falcons or like hawks. Are there's so many of them. Liam's bird watching? Liam's bird watching. I was bird watching in the troughs. Now, if, if, if anyone can't tell, they fly like right antsy. by the window. Yeah, there's a lot of birds here. <laughs> Nana's a little antsy right now. If you can't tell, you can't read the energy from over. If the camera's the. Camera's they can tell Joey's going to jump and they want to pick the remains. That's why they're all fucking flying around the balcony. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. We got, we got one that's about to end it, y'all. No, okay. I'm getting nervous because this, it's a peak sunshine right now and I can just feel this, this pool chair. The, the pool chair's filling up. Chill, with locals. chill. I'm looking at the pool chair. How many chairs are left? There's a ton. How many there's people, fucking 300 chairs. How many people are in the, in the infinity pool right are now? Are you zero? There's one, two, three, four. There's five people in the pool, none in the hot tub. I'm counting. What? How many different races? One, two. I don't. I can't tell from here, but I sent Spider down to check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. There's like 50 fucking chairs. Is there Joey. a row of chairs? Four, four in a row? For me, there's Liam, probably, there's probably 20 chairs. And I know the real reason you want to get down there is you want to see Liam with his fucking hairy belly button. I do. Would you think, can we get a cabana? They don't do cabanas yes, in Daytona do. Beach. They don't do cabanas. This is the only infinity pool in the thing. I bet you the pool sucks too. Oh, I, I have, I have bet. No, 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 no. I felt it today when I went down. And what was it? It was like, it was, it was 88, was 88, 88. <laughs> what was it? What was the pH? You have to bring your own towel, or is the fucking lazy ass cleaning lady? No, not but do you that do either. have to stick a fentanyl strip in the water before you get in. Can we talk about my breast with death? Which one? The one you're about to have? No, if you don't I change, if you don't fix it, I'll turn this car right around if you don't fix this attitude. Okay. Liam, can you get my pet coat? Can you get me a drink from the fridge? From her fridge, just two Michelob Ultras in there. I'll take one too, please. What's your brush with death? I was in the hospital for a heart attack. Oh. <laughs> Look at my bruise. Joey had a heart attack. <laughs> oh, classic. Classic Joey had a heart attack. I'm on the side of a mountain in Denver. And I, Joey sends me a photo of him looking like fucking Eleanor Roosevelt with a blanket over his legs. He's like this. He goes, I had, he goes, it's my time. It's my time. <laughs> I go, what I are you had, talking I had, about? I had, I had uh, machines hooked up to you from every angle. Oh, every you love enemy. the attention, you fucking there pig. Was, did you see them? Here, crack these beers. Yeah, he had, I go, what's wrong with you? Is anyone there? I played, I played mother like I should have. And I was very, to be clear, I was actually very worried about Joey. I said, this is the big one. It's like in NASCAR, they go, this is a wreck. I go, this is the big one. I go, he just got his pills fixed. My fucking, my dad's waiting for me on a ski slope. I go, hold on. So my co-host's okay. about to go. The ink, to, the ink hasn't dried on our new contract. Can you hold out for a week until the ink dries on the new contract, please? Yes. And then you can go.
Um, um, but I was rushed to the hospital. <laughs> what? You had a heart attack? <laughs> Uh, 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 Believe it or not, for someone as young and healthy as me, um, that works out and takes care of their cardio health. I mean, and their mental health. Yeah, I mean, it was a real. The doctors were. It was. It was a. It was a a third world. Third wonder of the world of how I had a heart 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 failure. It was like they just could not figure it out. They said, "Do you have?" For the life of them, they couldn't figure it out. The doctor goes, "Okay, are you on any medications?" Joey goes, "How long do you have?" Yeah. No, I literally. You need to sit in a pen and paper that had a scroll. I literally had Leah bring me Chick Fil A in the hospital when I'm in there for heart failure. I was sitting in the, in the waiting room like in a, in a wheelchair. Did you have a soda too? No, don't even yes. fuck. You had a stoey. And fries. Waffle fries. Sweet potato? No, I hate sweet potato fries. <laughs> but. Well, so what happened? Well, I was feeling, I was feeling like, it was the day after Valentine's, after Valentine's Day, I went to bed, right? He went in for a broken heart. No, my heart was so full with love that day. We had the best Valentine's Day. Did you have sex? What's that? Did he anal you? I'm not talking about that. Okay. So yes. Um, what happened? You went in. They at, no, you know you go to the doctor and like you're not honest about like how much oh. drinks you have. Like, what do you do? Joey was honest, and they fucking strapped him down to a bed. He's like, "How much?" I was like, "When you have you did in the last month?" I said, "Yep." <laughs> they go, they go over ten drinks a day. Yep. Do so you smoke? I said, "And vape." <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "Believe it or not, I smoke and I vape." Yep. <laughs> I was like, that, that's called a one-two punch in the biz. Okay. They go red meat in your diet. He goes, "Absolutely." Yeah, I did. I had a, I had a, I had a ribeye the night before. He had a, he had a he had a ribeye in for and dessert, homemade sushi and for dessert he washed it down with a line of no it was a it was a it was a it was a hearty Malbec so I I felt tight as my chest going to bed I didn't know if it was just because I had odd enough for making my own sushi tightness in my chest okay I, mean, I went ahead and I did the face treatment okay goes down. so I had a stroke no so then I woke up in the morning it I was like it was still there so I tell I said to Bay I was like I'm feeling a little now I'm thinking he's gonna get scared off because it's like you know he's already dating a senior citizen it's like. I don't want to scare him. If I found, found my prune juice, I'd be fucking now turns, mortified. Now, it turns out they just my medication. Now, Bay, believe it or not, was an illusion. <laughs> he, was, he was never there to begin with. He's a figment. <laughs> so I said, let me, go, let me rule out a all figment. things. So I decided to go to City MD. We used to call it doctors on duty back in the day. You go to City MD for a heart attack? <laughs> for our EKG. Hey, y'all. Hey, you, he walks in like the little, the little, uh, like the little, uh, the midget on the TLC show. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? <laughs> I have, I'm having a heart attack now, y'all. <laughs> Can you get the defibrillator? I think it's in the back. <laughs> Cheryl says she has. She always has one plugged in. You're gonna need the double watt paddles, okay? Because this ticker's about to blow. <laughs> <laughs> so I go in. And I said, I said, I feeling chest pain. Can I have an like EKG? Because I knew they do them there. I do them for for sport back in the day because they're just fun to go to. Um, you were so trying I, to sell me on one yesterday. You're like, you need an EKG. I was like, I'm one. just drunk. Just pop that top, Liam. Can you just take it Turn off? Turn the air back on. No one. Can, this this is not a, a high quality production. It is me. fucking hot. Yeah. <laughs> Liam's voice. But take the Oof. shirt off anyway. I'm going to see it in 20 minutes anyway down by the pool. Now, he, now Liam's choosing to ignore Joey. Interesting enough. Um, to, okay. The, the this, heart attack. This, the heart this show attack. is like you just pick a new employee to sexually harass every week. Yeah. And since I'm down well, here, it's, it's my you turn. Know. Yeah. It's your time you to said, shine, girl. It's your time. Welcome to the spotlight, baby. You either, Pat, you either lean in or you burn out. Pat, the choice Pat is yours. Pat said that uh, you guys were the you Jordan and Pippin of sexual harassment. Who said that? Barstool. I think you did. Oh, yeah. Cody said that. He goes, you're the Jordan and Pippin oh, yeah. of um, <laughs> SH. Anyway. I, so Back I get to the there. heart attack. So I get there. Oh, God. And they said, so they did my EKG, and they said they noticed there was something, something wrong. She comes in, she goes, let me talk to you. Yep. So we did notice something. It was, a, oh, speaking of bottoms, it was <laughs> Here's a, our little spinner friend. It was a branch, a, a right branch blockage. A bundle ag- branch. A bundle branch blockage. Say that again into the camera so they know what it is. A bundle branch blockage. It was a right bundle branch blockage they saw now i did some research onto what a right bundle branch blockage is what <laughs> sucks down a beer i'm not saying don't suck a beer like that um it turns out it can be caused by just an overall um like lifestyle it could be but you think yours was caused by electricity meaning <laughs> meaning, the, meaning the, that 5g that'll no. get you so what happened was the, the again shot shifty people doing jobs they shouldn't be like our fucking cleaning lady here this nurse didn't shave my chest like she's supposed to and that creates a friction and that's what that's what it was picking up on because they didn't shave the hair could pick up static and that's what it was like it's reaction to electricity so that's why so then because I, I went to the hospital then 
in a rush. So they said, here's a note. They're going to go right to the front of the line and say, listen, I'm having chest pains. Here's your note. They're going to get you right through. So she goes, but act dramatic. Act like the pain's really bad. So they put you right in. You go, so, oh, no problem there. I can yeah. act, I can so act 10, dramatic. What's the pain from one no to ten? No problem there. I skipped the pill this morning. I said, what's the pain from one to ten? I said, a, a, a ten. And then they got me in the chair and I was lying. I was like, I'm only kidding. It's only like a two. <laughs> Turns out I had a flank steak lodged. Yeah. <laughs> so then they do another EKG there. There was it was clean as a whistle. Nothing was wrong with my EKG there at the hospital. So you don't have no, but since they said that they saw it over there, they didn't want to rule it out because it could have been a blood clot. So they did all these things. They took like 25 ounces of blood. They put me in this like dramatic room. They 25 put an IV. ounces of blood? I don't know. They took a bunch of blood for me. They took they, seven they me, gallons They take x-rays. They took <clears throat> this CAT scan. I was going through all these machines. It was very dramatic. I felt like Gypsy Rose. Um, oh, so lucky. But I was gypsy rosing myself. So I um, eventually, they was like, after waiting around for like six hours, um, Malia came to me. Bay was going to come. Obama? But he, he gets squeamish around needles, so I didn't want to bring him over. Well, that's a bad place to be. Nana's back on the tea, so we did a tea shot last and then time. We think it was, they thought because it was a tea shot. Because the tea shot Testosterone blood, can't give you a heart attack, though. Because you have blood clots. So you thought you've been shooting up so much. To, let me get this straight. Not so much, but I just started. That's the only thing I did differently. So, she goes, you do anything different? I said, and now I do that every week. <laughs> wasn't it? Not You're going to believe it or not, if I don't do it, I'll withdraw. Yeah. <laughs> Now, now, I don't wish that on any of your staff here, okay? <laughs> I get I get mean as a bear if I don't so, get my on a Friday at 4 p.m. The only thing I tried new was that month, that Monday, I, we did another, we did a tea shot. So, that, remember that we just did it randomly? I said that could have, <laughs> blood, just, clot's not, blood clot's serious. Now, I found a blood clot in my panties once. Yeah, remember and, there was a blood, a blood clot on the lady's floor? Yeah, and I went in there. It was gone before I could get there. He was so excited to see. Someone farted out a blood clot on the second floor of the lady's bathroom at work. Mm -hmm. Joey, I've never seen coincidentally the week he that did, Jordan Woodruff starts. He ran over starts. to my desk and he goes, <laughs> "The week Jordan Woodruff starts and that happens." I was like, Ugh. "He ran over to my desk." He goes, "She was trying to pinch out a turd because she's so backed up without having those coffees. It came out the wrong end." <laughs> you or run thing. over. She was probably startled. He runs over to my desk. He goes, "He goes, I need to talk to you." <laughs> and not and like I don't want to talk about my feelings, bullshit. Which is usually I try and run the other way. So he goes, "Someone went in." To the ladies' room. <laughs> I go, blood okay. Blood. He goes, and queefed out a blood clot. He goes, I just want to say, look on the floor. I go, I'm not going in there. He I showed you the picture of it. Yeah. And then that poor cleaning lady had to go in and clean it. Well, at least she does her job. Joey, Joey, her. Joey applied for the job after he found out she got to clean blood clots. Did you get a note in your bed saying, I can't clean the room because I'm a lazy fucking bitch? No. I oh, I did. Oh, that's Was nice. it? Spider's here with us. Spidey, pop on. Dave Portnoy's here. <laughs> Hey yeah. guys, he's being camera shy. Like, Dave, come here. Watch pop over here, son. Dave, come here. It's Mr. Portnoy. Dave. Oh, me. Oh, Dave, oh, come yeah, here. Yeah, Dave. Sil, no. he, get him under control, control, please. He's got a call. Seriously, Sil, get him he's under control. I'm call. over. What'd yeah. you guys think of NASCAR? I loved NASCAR. Yeah, it was fun. Pat, you loved the troughs more than you loved I loved Daytona. Daytona. <laughs> I mean, what a place. So, Pat, that leads me to my question for you. Obviously, you he him. Excuse me. I'm not familiar. Um, like you've been to both Bristol and now Daytona. Compare them. What's been better? Oh, they're so different. I like this was more fun because it's way bigger. Bristol, Tennessee. It's like a little tiny like donut track, but it's still fucking huge in the in the Tennessee in the Smoky Mountains. So we went there a couple of years ago and it was fun. This is better because the crew is better. Like we had a fun crew, but yeah, now Joey, now we have Joey here. Um, to shake things up a little to bit. To shake things up. There were troughs here. There weren't troughs at the other thing. Yeah. Are there are, there are, there are birds of prey. Um, now I'm getting concerned. I think they're, 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 starting, to, they're starting to circle. Do you see them swarming? Look at them. They're circling. Yo, that's pretty Did Alex crazy. Did Alex tampon string fall out? Yo, yo. She, Alex Bennett's like they're holding, blood. holding a, a saltine up. Did you guys hear that? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so really, so apologize. Joey, why? You know what that is? That's like that's like three days of buttermilk pancakes. And did you go steak. to IHOP? They fed you here. I tried to fucking Good bite. Luck, into, girl. I tried to bite into the steak, and my my teeth fell out. <laughs> I was looking like Kim Hodges before the surgery. Who? Content Cam. Her drag name is Kim Hodges. Yeah. Oh. Go on, Joey. Sorry. <sighs> oh, I was. I'm sorry. I was looking at the birds. Can you get a seat count for me right now? Yeah, seat count. That's really, I'm so glad I did that. All right. That's really nice. I got great. one more question for you guys yes, before babe. I get out of your hair. Hottest NASCAR driver. I don't know what any of them looked like. So the only one I saw was the winner. Steinhouse um, Jr. Ricky, Ricky Stenhouse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stenhouse. Thoughts on him? I think he was very handsome. I cried when he won. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, his wife did have a, a, a suspicious hair bow. She looked like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Did huh. you see that? No, I didn't. I don't know what his wife looks like. I'm sure she's beautiful. She was Actually, beautiful, I'm, but she I'm had pretty a weird sure hair they're bow newly on. married. So, congrats to Ricky on not only that, but winning the Daytona 500. Great spending this weekend with you guys. Thanks for letting you me too. Jump Thank on you, here. Spider. All right, see you. Thank you, Spider. Make my bed, please. So that we know the fucking staff here are not going to do it. They made mine. Why didn't they make? They yours? left me a note because my computer was on my bed. They couldn't make the bed. The computer. <laughs> Tell them the real. You're such a fucking bullshitter. I'm Tell them the real reason why. My computer was on my bed. I, you, I'll show you the note. Was it covered in cum? That's why they didn't fucking move his computer. Oh, no. The whole thing was covered in load. Pete's going to be pissed, dude. There was a snuff film going on. <laughs> it was just <laughs> playing on repeat. Yeah, there was a film from the fucking Iraq war of someone yeah, getting there was a, fucked there was an ISIS the head. There was an ISIS beheading and yeah. jizz everywhere. Did you even get the laptop open or did you just no. jizz it closed? No, it was no. sealed. All right, thanks, boys. Someone's streaming. Allo Akbar! It was Habibi, ba- Habibi Gangbang. You actually jerked off. Joey jerked off to... Um, Can I tell them? <laughs> Was it Fred Bur- Flintstone it wasn't and Barney. Barney? It was Fred, Fred Flintstone yeah. and Barney. I jerked out of porn like that the other day. It was hent. And you finished that? Yeah. It was hot. <laughs> Pull her up. Spider's you would, what cartoon? What two? Same for the question. What cartoon would you jerk off to? Lola Bunny, obviously. I, my, I imagine they go Gaston. But we, I usually go. I usually jerk off to Wreck It Ralph. You ever see his porn tapes? You have to have seen the Wreck It Ralph. Oh porns. my god, he's hot. He's a you fucking do, you huge usually, beast. You jerk off to like people getting like pissed on in like a public bathroom, though. Yeah. <laughs> that, and now that brings me back to the trough. Believe it or not. Remember, I was watching Angel Hands porn for a long time. Oh, that's this. You know, Angel disabled Hands is? man getting jerked off by like like no. caregivers. So there's a group. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. There's like a, there's a business. It's like called Angel Hands, and it's where people have like physical. We're, dis- try, we're trying to get there for working girls, but yeah, we're trying to fuck. We apply. They wouldn't take us. And when someone's disabled, like, and they can't pleasure themselves, these people come in and they put on nice silk gloves. They lower the mood and they jerk them off. It's like community service. So I would watch those films for much for many years. Until my dad started recognizing himself in the film, and I was like, hmm. <laughs> "Next thing I know, I see my mother in there." Okay, now she's <laughs> next thing I know, I'm on all fours at an Angel Hairs convention. I think I did something bad. I think my flight was today. No way. Are you sure? Pull your f- Leah just texted you. I thought your flight was today. Tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 you're with us. Are you sure? I uh, believe me. The second we found out that there was a possibility to stay here another day. Joey's phone almost, Joey almost punched a hole through his phone. He was texting so fast. Oh, I'm number go. four on the upgrade list. And every time we hear that, another addicted baby is born. <laughs> you ever been in the hospital where they have a, uh, they do like the stork sound every time a baby's born? No, it is tomorrow. Your flight is? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, I think I have gout. My hand is like numb here. That's not gout. It's tingly as fuck. You have gout? Yes. Hello, it's a king. It's a king's disease. It's a, rich <laughs> it's a queen's disease. Believe it or not, I turned it into a queen's disease. Um, I have to put my flip flops on shortly. Just telling everyone now. Okay. What do you think Bennett's doing right now? <laughs> oh, I think Bennett is probably making a TikTok. I don't want to give too much information, but there's something happening in my stomach. Last time you went to the uh, hospital, remember? Yes. Oh, speaking of, Sanjeet just texted me and said, "What does it feel like when your appendix bursts?" <laughs> Because my appendix burst. I have a C-section scar. Like your pussy has to fart? Yeah. That's my C-section scar. See? One, two, three. C-section. Um, um, I'm hungry. Do you have any Takis? Yes, we do. You're a fucking professional, aren't you? Thanks, babe. We love Takis. Tell them about Takis. Well, you know, I'm excited. I never liked spice before, but I used to... I, Takis Extreme was um, very extreme for me, but I still liked it because it packed so much flavor. But now they have a nacho flavor one that's not spicy. So I've been eating them like... They're a little pebbles. I they're just in them back. They're, they're crunchy. They're intense. Read the copy. Talk, oh. <laughs> Face the intensity with Takis, the most intense snack ever. Takis makes the most intense snacks like Takis Waves, Kettles, Hot Nuts, my favorite, Takis Sticks, and Takis Pops, and Takis Rolls. And for people who don't want them with intensity without the spice, like me, you must try their intense nacho, the first non-spicy Takis flavor, insanely cheesy and super intense, just like me. <laughs> Takis is the perfect snack for any occasion, road trips, gaming, NASCAR, watching TV, chilling, hanging out with friends, no matter Gang what bags. you're doing, having Takis snacks on hand makes the day so much more intense. Try Takis today and face the intensity. Nice, Joe. I want to get by that pool, bitch. Have you thought, have you thought about doing uh, voiceover work? For, for young trans activists? Yeah. Your voice does sound deeper after the T. I'll give you that. No, that's because I was screaming. What were you screaming at? Just, just having conversations in this loud ass place. Oh, how was drinking with large? It was nice. You know, I love drinking with his son more. His son is not of age to drink. 
Finn? I was giving him. Hmm. Finn is like 15. Well, he was throwing him back with the rest of them. He's a sophomore in high school. You were trying to get him liquored up. Not only kidding. No, um, I love it was, Arch- it was Bridget and she's nine. <laughs> no, I love his family. It's so nice. They're when great. They come. It's just like when the, uh, the, his family comes over, um, it's just uh, the happiest time is because they're such good people. And they're so fun and nice, and it just makes you it automatically brightens your day every time you see. I can be the worst mood at work, and like I'm the biggest spiral when Annie walks up, and you can't oh, help but be happy. Best. You can't help but be happy and like feel heart warmed. She's the most lovely person. You know what it is? They, why their kids are so great? It's because Irish and Italians, I think, make the best mix. That's what I am. You're Italian and Irish. I'm Irish and Italian. Yeah. What's your last name? Camasta's Italian. What's what was your mother's main name? Le, McBride. 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 Oh my God. Speaking of Irish and Italians, what do you think the makeup is? I see is? one right here. What do you think the makeup is of Daytona? Do you think Liam has a... It's easy, Joe. Easy, Joe. What was easy, that Joey. What was that, that trashy Irish band from the 90s? Oh, Colin Farrell? No. That is Larry. No. The redhead guy, like... Prince Harry? Rapper, like, come my lady, come... No, what was oh, that? Oh, Vanilla Ice. No, 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 no. Redheaded rapper from They were like 90s. a gang from Boston. They were Irish. Oh, fucking, um... You guys don't know this? Jump around. Jump around. That's not Marky Mark. Oh, House of Pain. House of Pain. House of Pain? Yeah. They're Irish. They're from Boston and they're yes. Irish? Yeah. Yes. A white guy singing House song? of Pain. Oh, my God. Am I aging myself now? Girls, you have to back me up. I know Jen Hearn knows about House of Pain. Yeah, no, yeah. I know, I know the song. I just didn't know they were like redheaded Irishmen. Yes. The that's their whole that. thing. That's all I said. You have a House of Pain tattoo around your anus, I was going to say. Oh. House of Pain tattoo around your asshole? Is that just as Liam? I was wondering if he had it. Do you have a tattoo? Can we do a tattoo tour? Come on over. Me. Come on over. Just in the yeah. waist down, though, dear. <laughs> you pop that top. We're all going to see each other's naked anyway today. <laughs> Liam, we're all going to see each other. So we're all, we all got the same parts. We all got the same parts. Come on over. Let's do a tattoo tour. This is Liam. He, He's uh, very hot. He was on uh, part of my take for quite a while. He does some other things now. This is here. Okay. This one is very trashy. It's 508. There. That's so, I know what that yeah. Is. Um, that's here. a cat. You can do a review. Oh, that's a nice one. I want to go to that person. This eye, the world is crying because the eyes are there. This is your, your gambling addict. This is a responsible gambling addict. <laughs> Call one gambler. And you what's have, on the back? You have nothing on the back? Nothing on the upper thighs even? No. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, an anklet. That <laughs> means you're you're uh, that's that that means that's, that's the direction you blend your your legs back as it goes behind your ear. <laughs> that means that's, that means that's the gayest thing about me, probably. Well, I that, think you flirting that with me for thousand dollars is a little bit more <laughs> sus. But I think selling your body for yeah for the low for low quick, price. I, for a quick I come out of the trail, I go, hey, there's a grand in your hands. Yeah. <laughs> Liam said he could blow, let Joey blow him for a thousand dollars. Joey walks out, he goes, a grand in your hands, son. And I was I, I, I was like, this close to putting the button for Venmo is a joke, but I was like, I'm not doing that. What if he runs off without it without me money? Imagine Liam robs him. I wouldn't care. I'm rich enough. It's fine. <laughs> Money's just uh, money's just a number. Everyone's rich now at the company, huh? Well, that's what I'm going to start. I'm going to start doing um, in, in numbers. I'm going to start doing blackmail to who? Anyone who's rich. I'm well, going to get dirt on them. I'm going to have them. I'm going to start wearing slutty outfits, have them flirt with me, and then to so, so, so out them. Yeah. You know who I'm going through first? Who? Uncle D? No, Erica. Erica's going to flirt with you. Well, again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to do. I'm going to do KFC first. Yeah, he'd be a. <sighs> I'm gonna get. I'm gonna take some dark shit. I'm gonna find the high heel that's gonna suck up the guy's ass and test it for um for diseases. Oh, he loved that. You know the Feidelberg heel in the ass. Feidelberg went to. He went to um a strip club, Amsterdam, and he got a high heel stuck up his asshole. But didn't they put it in his mouth after? Uh, his I, own ass. His own ass. So he put the heel. She put her heel in his ass. And then pulled it out and he licked his own ass juice? Yeah. Have you ever stuck anything in your ass? Be honest. No. Never. Nothing. Not even a finger. By yourself. Do you push on your, do you push on your, um, on your grundle? Do you push on your grundle when you masturbate? No. No. Try you it. You like it. it. Do you push your gooch. On your face. You're laughing at you should push on your gooch. It's a, that's a pressure point. It's, 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 it's like playing with your prostate, but sure. having not having you go into the prostate. You just press behind your balls. Just press on that. Right above the hole. Just a little. Not near your hole. Not near your hole. Under your balls. That, that's Don't your sugarcoat is. it. You're going to have to get near the hole. Not really, though. You just press that. That's like, that's like 
playing with the prostate outside of the panties. That, but, that, but so you like you know, spiders trying it right now in the in ass. The whole fucking room. It's where it's real full like naked prostate is, but you can go like over the panties kind of prostate, just pressing that. Okay. Try it out, guys. Try it out, fellas. You're gonna love it. I'll do. I'm gonna do a tutorial after. This is actually a sexual health wellness retreat that we brought you on. You said you saw Bennett walking on the beach. Is she had a right? Confederate flag bikini on. Yeah, well, that her Oklahoma's showing <laughs> usually does after a couple beers. I'll tell you that. I don't, and she said she said she didn't even buy it here. She had she brought it with her. Yeah, and it's ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, they're the birds. And I heard her say, Mexicans what? aren't only good for mowing the lawn; they're also good for eating this pussy. The only reason I'm sitting here is because Liam's here. So the thing honest. is, like you, like you said, it was like a joke, like the thousand dollars. He's gonna hang on to that. You can if you're, uh, if you're I, ever in a pinch, son. No, I have. The you never know. I'm, I'm, I couldn't eat it one day. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And that being said, we're off to the pool. But make sure to tune into my TikToks for my get ready with me every morning. Mm. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on Alex Bennett's page. What and words should we have our subscribers write on her page? Let's weaponize social media. Um, no, just like and subscribe to. I miss right. You can write on her. I miss your old nose. Let's write that. <laughs> Does she we're have fake nose? Her, we're in her room right now. I don't think she has a fake nose. No, I don't think she has anything fake. Alex. No, she doesn't. She's gorgeous. Her tan, tan is gorgeous. The her tan. tan. We, use you, the, we use the same girl, so I know. You gave her the tanner, didn't you? We, we we use the same tanner. I'm a little worried that you're not telling me the truth about your bruise. That's where my IV was. Another shoddy nurse. I saw Liam. What is it? People not doing their jobs around here. Liam grabbed you so hard yesterday out of the bus. He said, don't let them know. (laughs) You mustn't let them know. (laughs) Um, Working Girls episode two will be coming out. Uh, Subscribe to our YouTube. Subscribe to Rubbin is Racing with Large and Spider. Yes. All all the NASCAR, everything. Um, Cody also has a couple shirtless photos on his Instagram from his college days. If you want to go back there. You can like those. Um, I want to say thank you to HelloFresh. Thank you to Takis. Takis. And thank you to the um, other one. The other one? What was the other one? Oh, it's our energy drink. Sorry. Proper while. I would like to say thank it's you. It's at Cody Lanza. Oh. Everyone follow at Cody Lanza. So he's dating someone. He's dating Bella Hadid. Yeah, he's dating someone in the office. And it's I see them when I get there in the morning and I see them walking in together. I just go, oh, <laughs> to be young. And you said, oh, half, half of office romances end in divorce. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen it all too much. Tell us all this time. <laughs> but I think I have a good feeling about you guys. I have a good feeling about you too. We actually have her here today. Um, that's it. We'll see you guys on Friday. Please, for the love of God, share the episode on all the social media. Um, and please call your local, if you live in Tennessee, please call your local representative and say, do not pass, pass the anti-drag bill. They're trying to criminalize drag there. Oh, yeah. Do you want to talk about that really quick? No, I don't. That's but it. it's disgusting. <laughs> um, that, means, that means I wouldn't even be able to wear my high heels in public. I'd be, I can be arrested for 15 years that they see me wearing high heels. I'm gonna, I, go, I go, Joey, I bought you a trip to Tennessee. <laughs> no, literally. They can, <laughs> go they, right they, the if a man is wearing women's clothing in public, they can, you can go to prison for 15 years. Is like, that but, passing or is that just some pa- like, it's, fringe? It's, no, it's going to pass. Oh. That's like that's like what was back in the fifties, right before Stonewall. It's it's go, it's barbaric. Interesting. If you live in Tennessee, you're fucking disgusting. No, that's not. I like Tennessee. This. Oh, what is, what is it? How are all the the tra- the trans trans hookers in Nashville going to work?